Yep, what you are seeing is a Bucky's chicken burrito. We both got one. Kim did it because chicken's a healthier option. I did it because it was the heaviest food product I could buy in a single package. I want to get more bang for my buck. For my bucky. <laughs> get it? <laughs> We are entering Florida's Silver Springs State Park. Hey, baby. Hi. We're gonna be here two nights and we're gonna check out the park right now before we check in for camping. I'm gonna say check one more time, check it out. This first spring we're taking a look at today is the Spring of Stars. Now, as I'm sure some of you folks probably already know, many movies and TV shows have been filmed here at Silver Springs all throughout the years. The very first one was filmed way back in 1916, which was a silent black and white film called The Seven Swans. Now, all these smaller fish down here, these are different kinds of brim mainly bluegill. We really have no idea how deep this spring actually is. But for the record books, this is listed as at least a quarter mile straight down. Well, you folks are going to hear me mention limestone a few times throughout our trip today. And that's because the Florida aquifer, where all of these springs are coming from, is pretty much made entirely of limestone. And if you don't know what the Florida aquifer is, kind of think of an underground lake and river system that spreads throughout almost the entire state of Florida, and it even creeps into Georgia and beyond. And there are certain points in the aquifer where the force from this water erodes away from the limestone, eventually cracking onto the surface of the earth, creating these springheads, like the ones that we're looking at here today. This piece of wood right here was an old Native American dugout canoe. Now, as long as that cypress wood was taken from the trunk of the cypress tree, there is a natural chemical within that wood to help prevent rot and essentially help keep that thing perfectly preserved while it's underneath this water. Now, throughout our trip, you folks are also probably wondering, how does the Silver River down here even get its color? Well, the Native Americans that were here hundreds of years ago learned that the limestone, which is, again, all that white stuff at the bottom of the river down there, when this all gets met by the sunlight, that light is going to reflect off of this rock while it's underneath the water, and that is what helps give this river here its silvery blue tone. there was a TV show by the name of I Spy, starring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. About midway through the third season, there was an episode of this show that required an underwater scene with some underwater statues. And these statues are what we are floating on top of right now. these three down here are the Greek gods, Zeus, Poseidon and Hades. Right now these are sitting at almost 30 feet of water. 
each stand roughly seven feet tall, and they are made almost entirely out of a mythical substance called fiberglass. Uh. <laughs> now, Mammoth Spring here is the head spring of the entire Silver River. So the spring itself is going to be essentially a cave that's around five feet tall and about 65 feet wide. Now, this one spring by itself is responsible for pushing out over 550 million gallons of water every single day. It's a magnitude one. Magnitude and that one. massive number is what makes this spring the largest artesian spring made out of limestone in the entire world. Now all this water here forms the Silver River. And the Silver River flows for about five and a half miles until this flows into the Oklahoma River. Then once it's in the Oklahoma River, this snakes its way across the state going east. And after a very long while, this connects with the St. Johns River just outside of Palatka. And from there, the St. Johns River brings all this water due north, through Jacksonville, and then eventually out into the Atlantic Ocean. All right, we're on the nature trail, going over the Ross Island, Allen Island Boardwalk. Let's, let's say that again. Ross Allen Island Boardwalk. Ross Allen, he did the uh, reptile shows here at Silver Springs. Worked here for a total of 46 years. He left in 1975. Silver Springs has been a film location since 1915. Cool. Feeding wild monkeys is prohibited. No feeding monkeys. Don't know why you would want to feed a monkey, because those things are cruel. <laughs> and we can't feed them anything anyway, because we lost uh, three quarters of a burrito that fell off the dash onto the floor. So the monkeys weren't going to get that anyway. Want, want to tell the people about that? No, I don't. She was very angry just after we were talking about the Bucky's uh, chicken burrito, how, how big they were. Awesome and delicious they were. They were very good. Kim was <laughs> messing around with some camera equipment. <laughs> and lo and behold, next thing you know, the burrito comes flying off. Vibrated the dash. off the dashboard in the van. <coughs> <coughs> I think we need to get our tires balanced. We just had them balanced. Yes. <laughs> So luckily the burritos are big enough that I shared the rest of mine with her. There's the boat launch down there for the kayaks. We're Kayak. thinking about renting some kayaks. Might be tomorrow. Cause there is thunder right now, which means there's lightning. That beautiful boardwalk. Water is so blue. Sure is. It almost looks like, you know how they put the blue in the water in the fountains so that they don't get algae? It blocks the sun. Yeah. It almost looks that. It looks like that color, doesn't it? Sure does. Boy, it's clear. Yeah, we gotta canoe this, kayak it. No swimming. Look at that big fish. Oh, look at that big fish. The tilapia? Yeah, it looks like a blue tilapia. So you can make uh, kayaks and go down this river. Look at that one. To uh, Ray Wayside Park. It's about, how long she say? About a three hour trip? Look at that fish. It's blue too and it's yeah, not a tilapia. 
and they'll come down and pick you up at the end of there. That includes transportation back. Okay, we just noticed uh, some pieces of wood that are nailed to this tree. Should be that one right there. That goes up, uh, they're dilapidated, so they've been there for a while. I don't know who or climbed that. Maybe it's left over from one of the Tarzan movies. Yeah, yeah maybe. A lot of cypress trees here. The cicadas are sure having a go at it today. Loud, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I was reading the information on the uh, steamboat lines that would uh, use the St. Johns River and make their way up the Ocklawaha River to Silver Springs. So it would start from Palatka, Florida, to Silver Springs. And they had a picture of a, a ticket for three first class tickets, which included meals and berthing for the full trip from Palatka to Silver Springs back in 1894 it was $36. Hey, bird. That is an ibis. An unhappy ibis, because we disturbed him. And this informational is on Sea Hunt. It was filmed between 1958 and 1961. It was a television series starring Lloyd Bridges, and they film many of the scenes here at Silver Springs. Oh, and there's one of the stars right there. <laughs> I was going to slide down the slide, but there's a big water puddle at the bottom. Oh, okay. So uh, I decided against that. <laughs> Didn't have a wet bottom for the rest of the day. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Ribbit. 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 <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I think I was supposed to do that. I don't know. This is the play area for the kids. Of course, oh, supposed old school to do play it. area. Okay, yeah. cool. You want to walk across that? Is no, no. I'm going to fall off of? Yeah, you might. How don't. wide is it? I want to go look. Here. Um, all right.
It's as far as I'm going. All right, good job. <laughs> you finished it. <laughs> you guys at home didn't see her come from the other side? She's fast. I'd do it if I had a truck pill so I could balance. Get vertigo as soon as I got two steps out. <laughs> These butterflies are going crazy on this uh, reddish colored bush here. So here's a mock up of the Pioneer Settlement. And then over here is the Silver River Museum. Monday through Friday, it is closed. Uh, no public access to the Pioneer Settlement or the Silver River Museum uh, because of Marion County school classes. Guess what time it is since my burrito hit the floor earlier today and I only took a couple little bites off of his because you know he was worried about getting a big heavy burrito and I didn't want him to starve. I'm starving so it's time to eat. Good morning. All right we're headed on a two mile trail called the sinkhole loop. So I imagine we're gonna see a sinkhole on it. We'll see. I'm trying, I haven't had coffee. It was too hot to drink, I burnt my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I made some and it's too hot for oh. me, to, me to drink either. Cobweb. Cobwebs out here. Hey, I'm taller, I'm leading away. I should have knocked that one down. So neither one of us has had enough coffee. But had leftover pizza though. Yeah, leftover pizza <laughs> and we're gonna go down this pretty long straightaway here. Alright. So we saw a dog a dog, a hog cross this trail about two hundred yards behind us. A pretty big one too, yeah. definitely 150 plus. And then we just heard a noise in this area. It sounded kind of big, we don't know what it was though, we can't see it. Some critter moving around. We are in black bear territory, but the information for Silver Springs says that black bears are rarely seen here and that coyotes are rarely seen here. But after we passed the hog, we were watching the hog tracks and we saw some coyote tracks. So they're here, they're just not seen very often. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I see deer ears. Right over around there. I think I got her with the camera. That's encouraging. Maybe we'll see some more. Is she moving now? Oh, there's two. And there's the sinkhole down there. It's big. Yeah, it is big. the beauty of limestone, huh? You get all these great springs, but you also get 
very porous and collapsible. What's the word I'm looking for? Are the animals I'd like to drink down there. You know, it's gathering water. We passed a uh, couple of hikers and they said they spotted a buck somewhere in this area. So hopefully we might be able to get a glimpse of it. I heard a noise, but loud. Yeah, it sounded like a... I didn't know if it was coming out of a tree or something. Pond, pond, stick, snapping. <laughs> 